Hey, what's going on? My name's Lucas. Welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to do a quick Ableton tutorial to show you how to do punch in and punch out recording. If you want to directly support the channel, head to my website where I have Ableton templates, sample packs, and courses that you can download, and the links in the description for that. The first thing you need to do is set up your keyboard shortcuts because without them, it's very inefficient to be doing punch in and punch out recordings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here on the top right and press this key button. This is where you can map your keyboard shortcuts. The buttons that we're going to be concerned with right here are punch in, punch out, and loop. So we're going to press this key button here. I'm going to select uh, the punch in and the way that I like to have this set up is I like to have left bracket for punch in, right bracket for punch out, and then the backslash on my numerical keypad for looping. That's how I have it set up, but you can choose whatever keys you want. Real quick, I'm just gonna demonstrate how punch in and out recording works in Ableton. So the first thing you need to do, let's just say I wanna punch in this one line here. You need to move your loop brackets to encompass that region and turn on punch in and punch out. And then I'm gonna click on some empty space in the timeline to give myself some pre-roll. And then I'm gonna press record. So as you can see, it just recorded over this region, starting from the left side of the bracket and ending on the right side. It leaves you a little leeway on the left and the right like this, just in case you miss something. So that is a lifesaver. Another thing you may wanna be aware of when doing this type of recording is how to turn on and off your count in. You press this little down arrow right here next to the metronome button and it gives you your count in option. So you can do none, one bar, two bars and so on. So that's just right up here. And for this particular workflow that I'm describing, I usually don't use count in because there's gonna be some pre-roll by selecting where you wanna start on the timeline here. All right, my friends, that is how you do punch in and punch out recording in Ableton. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments. Check out my website if you wanna grab my templates and sample packs and all that stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.